Imagine yourself a long time ago, before electricity and television, before the internet and social media. What stories would you tell? What stories do you think your ancestors told? For millennia, people and cultures from around the world have looked to the sky for constancy, for resiliency, for a glimpse into eternity. And they have told stories. Many stories we hear today came from ancient Greeks thousands of years ago. Let me tell you one of them. The tale of the great hunter Orion, who was punished for his vanity. Atop Mount Olympus in Greece, powerful gods and goddesses made their home including the fiery Artemis. Goddess of the moon, protector of children and nature, Artemis was as wild as the animals she protected. She preferred to stay away from humans. In her temple, she gave birth to living creatures. She rejoiced in taking care of them. She took pride in seeing them come to life. Thanks to her, peace reigned in the animal kingdom. But one day... A mighty hunter called Orion invited himself onto the land of Artemis and jeopardized everything. Boasting of his hunting skills, Orion threatened to kill all Earth's creatures. Obviously, the goddess could not bear this. To stop Orion, she removed him from Earth and placed him into the sky as a reminder to humans that nature is not their own. But they are part of nature. Because stars live for an extraordinarily long time, and move slowly relative to one another. You can search for the same patterns your ancestors saw millennia after their stories were first told. We can still see this group of stars we now call the Orion constellation. But every culture around the world saw something different through the centuries. Many shared their stories found common threads and wove similar tales, but everyone made the sky their own. 
No matter where we live in the world, we all share one sky.